Hello everyone, it's Janet here with my design team project for the Piece by Piece. Beverly Store can now be located at www.thepiecebypiece.com. She has everything moved to that website, so I urge you to go and check out her wonderful trims. I just love all of her laces and all of the goodies that she sells. And For this project, I wanted to make a stocking for Christmas for my granddaughter. It will be her first Christmas. So I decided to make it out of muslin. I had some fabric on hand. So I just cut out a stocking and I made a cuff to go over the top that was a little larger. And I wanted to just really embellish the top of the cuff with Beverly's laces and trims. So I cut it out and I left it, so I sewed the stocking together with some decorative stitching on my sewing machine. If you don't sew, you could easily just cut out a piece and use fabric glue and glue them together. You wouldn't have to use a sewing machine for this project. And I sewed it together. I left the edges. I want them to fray. I like that look. So it's kind of a vintagey feel with the elegance of Beverly's trims. So I sewed with the decorative stitching all the way around. I made the cuff up here a little bit bigger and just sewed it to the top and folded it over. If you had plenty of fabric, you could probably just cut the stocking extra tall and then make it come out wider here so that it'll go out wider over the stocking and then just fold it over. That would work just as well. You wouldn't have to make it into two pieces. So that is the stocking there and it is going to be a very usable stocking. I plan on putting some goodies in it for her for Christmas. So the trims that I use, I started, I layered them on to the cuff and I started with the red pleated trim and I will put the um, product descriptions down below. So this is the red pleated trim. So I took it all the way around and I, I wanted it to be finished on both sides. So that's on the bottom. And then I have this eyelet trim next. It's a western eyelet. It is so pretty and it has that real vintage look that really goes well with the project. So I don't know if you can see it very well, but that's what I have right along here. And then on top of that, I have some of this pink French lace here. I just wanted to do it in a kind of a feminine. I really like Christmas reds with pinks and creams, so that's the colors I decided to go with on this stocking. Then I just used some of the red lace on top of that. It's this beautiful trim. And then on top of that I just used this white cream lace. And I also used one of Beverly's resin pieces. And I took a little bit of red paint and kind of brushed over the top of it to give it a little extra dimension and pull the red in with the pink. And for the background of it, I just cut an extra piece of the muslin fabric. And at first I was going to try to sew on it, but I thought, well, it wasn't turning out too good. So I just used a red Sharpie marker, and I think it kind of ended up having like that needlepoint look, which I really liked. So I put A for Alexis on that. And then I used one of the pink bows that Beverly sells on top of that. And then I used one of her red fabric flowers and the pink fabric flowers. And I actually bunched them up and kind of stitched it bunched before I glued it down um, here because I wanted them not to be as big as the full fabric flowers are pretty large. But I wanted them a little bit smaller and a little bit fuller. So I just kind of gathered them together with a just a quick little stitch and then I glued them on. And you can do it with glue, but I just kind of wanted to make sure I had them right before I glued them down. And behind that I just have a little piece of red and white baker's twine in a bow. And then I have a couple pieces dangling down. Now all of this trim I adhered with just fabric glue because I wanted it to be real durable. So I put that all together with fabric glue. And then for the hanging piece, I used this pink pleated trim here. 
from Beverly store. So that's going to be really secure. So that is my stocking. I'm really happy with the way it came out. And the trims are so wonderful to work with. And when you just layer them like this, they are just, they make a statement all on their own. And I just think that the rest of the stocking just needs to be just kept plain because it's just so beautiful at the top. So anyway, hope you enjoyed my project. Make sure that you check out Beverly's store at www.thepiecebypiece.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.